Hey, how's it going? It's Nikki from Nikki's Determination. I'm gonna go through a Funko Pop haul here. Um, these Funko Pops have all come out this year, 2017. So I have gotten these in the last month or so. So we're just gonna take a quick look through them. We're gonna start with a couple Game of Thrones ones. So I got Cersei Lannister. I got her about a month ago. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description of um, the last two Game of Thrones Funko Pop reviews that I have done um, that involve all the other characters here. Um, I just haven't got this guy here, Tormund. That's the only guy I haven't got. So, so this is Cersei. I'm not going to take any of these pops out of the box today. Overall, this pop is alright. I mean, the paint job on her rings are kind of mediocre, but um, overall, her crown, her dress, it's a decent Funko Pop. So, that's Cersei Lannister. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're watching the latest Game of Thrones Season 7. Alright, and then next we got the mountain. He is covered in um, a plastic cover. <laughs> um, he's a 2017 summer convention exclusive, not a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but he is a summer convention exclusive nonetheless. Um, there's no difference in the Funko Pop itself uh, between the two, uh, it's just the sticker that is different. Also, this one is a little cheaper than uh, the San Diego Comic Con one, of course. <laughs> All right, so that's the mountain. I just really wanted the mountain, and but I wasn't really willing to pay 50 bucks for the San Diego Comic Con one, so I got that one for $15. It's um, a box lunch exclusive, or I don't know, I don't know if it's the store or online box lunch. I'm not exactly sure. We're box lunches. I believe there is a store. So this one is Star Wars. This is my favorite one of the lot that I'm showing you. There's two more after this one. And this is Princess Leia and R2-D2. Another 2017 summer convention exclusive uh, two-pack. So um, this scene is pretty obvious to the Star Wars fan. I am the biggest Star Wars fan. That is my number one thing. Yes, this is a Pokemon, Funko Pop, whatever channel, but Star Wars is my life. So uh, I had to have this one. Uh, this is the scene where uh, Princess Leia is going to put the message in R2-D2 for Obi-Wan Kenobi to come and save her. As we know, the infamous line, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. So he, yeah, uh, luckily Luke Skywalker ran into him and, uh, they went to go save the princess. But anyways, so yes, this is her as a, um, the message itself, the hologram. Um, I thought it would have been cooler. Uh, I'm going to try not to talk about this one too much. <laughs> but I thought it would have been a little cooler if she was bending over putting the art. In, well, but that wouldn't make any sense because she is not a hologram when she's bending over putting it in there. But like as far as the hologram goes when he's showing it to Luke and she bends over and puts the chip in. Um, I thought that would have been cool when they were like facing each other to have the pops like that. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. This is cool anyways. I love the concept. So this is um from this series here. I have uh, just this one I believe. I really, really like the Princess Leia from Hoth. Um, I think I have Yoda from Dagobah. Don't have this one or Luke, Luke Skywalker hooded or the Garindan Empire spy, but that is quite all right. This is really the only one I would want from that one the most, except Princess Leia Hot. All right, sorry I got into that one a little more, but that is the my favorite one. So since we're in the Star Wars mood, anyways, I'll go ahead into the next Star Wars one, which is. 
humongous one. A preview exclusive. The Rancor with Luke Skywalker and a Slave Ula. This one is awesome. I mean, if you don't know this scene either, <laughs> it's too bad. You need to go watch all the Star Wars movies. But, um, so this girl right here was one of Jabba's slaves and uh, he, after, I don't know, she was dancing. I guess he didn't approve of her dancing. He fed her to the Rancor. <laughs> and also there was a scene with Luke you know, fighting in the Rancor pit. So, <clears throat> this was another one that I thought was very awesome to get. Not my favorite, not the best detailed characters. Um, I would say that Slave Ula is probably the best looking one in the bunch. I mean, the Rancor's cool. I like his uh, chain here that's broken, if you could see it. It's broken off the chain here, and I like that Luke has the bone in his hand. So this is very, very cool. Ooh. Sorry. These are the other ones that come in this series. I actually have all of these. All of these guys. I have a quite the Funko Pop Star Wars collection. Alright, so I'm gonna put this one back off to the side because it's so stinking huge. I'm put back Leia. And we'll talk about the last one, which has nothing to do with Star Wars or Game of Thrones, and it's a Looney Tunes. This one came out this year. It is a Funko specialty series, a limited edition exclusive. Um, this character is Gossamer. Uh, he was featured in a lot of different Warner Brothers uh, Looney Tunes series, like um, was it Tweety and Sylvester. Um, and, you know, the, he had, I think, his own cartoon himself, and he, but he was featured in a lot, even like Taz. But this character i thought was very cool um ever since i was young he's like got this heart shaped head i thought he was a very cool character he comes in this uh, uh looney tunes pop animation series with, with these fellas here uh this doc dodgers that chase exclusive is pretty expensive wish i could have got that out and the the marvin the martian the um exclusive one that's he's a bluish color though um but this one came out this year 2017 um, I hate that they put the price tag on the box itself because then it gets all that sticky stuff on them. Some price tags are actually easy to take off, but this one I just noticed it's going to be a hassle if I should even take it off at all. But uh, overall, this pop looks pretty uh, nice. I mean, it's not that hard. He's just all red anyways, but I like his nails, his dirty black nails <laughs> with the yellow. That the, They did the paint job pretty nice on that usually. A lot of pops do not have a good paint job. Um, even the shoes, his little sneakers are pretty good paint job. I'm very um, happy with this pop and this character. So this was the lot that I have collected in the last month or so uh, that I wanted to talk about. So I will be doing some more uh, lot Funko Pop. <laughs> you can't even see them all. Funko Pop lots for you guys. Um, Funko Pop hunt. So just make sure you like this video. If you did like it, drop a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite character from the bunch here. And be subscribed if you are not already. Thank you so much for watching.